Hey there, Tyler, the Edo Design Company. Going to do the uh, new Eero POE6 unboxing. We are hoping this will take place of several Ubiquity access points we have spec'd in jobs, as well as any older uh, Eero CI5s, which were uh, it also came in a ceiling mount. And so hopefully we can get this thing uh, unboxed and show you a couple features, and then we'll do some installation videos coming up on it. Thanks a lot. All right, so let's get this Eero POE6 unboxed. First notable thing, this is definitely designed for the installer market, uh, real plain Jane box, uh, real no, no real manual, uh, limited hardware. So I would recommend having a custom installer get this thing going for you. Um, Eero did make a CI5 access point that had a kind of a bulky uh, POE access point adapter bracket, and then you put the CI5 into it. This is a single unit that is a direct POE, so you will need a POE switch. Um, Let's get it unboxed here, and I'll go over a couple other details. So we've installed a few of these already, uh, even though they've only been out for a few weeks. Uh, it, without a question, is considerably faster than a CI5, and we found out that the CI5 has numerous problems with Zoom calls and other items. So definitely recommend the uh, 6 line of products compared to the older Eero. So super simple bracket. My installer said that when he uh, got the last one put in, that as long as the drywall is good, this thing will butt right up to the ceiling and look super clean, super secure. Hardware pack is actually packed inside of it. Again, probably to keep the packaging down to a minimum. And so you can see it's pretty low profile. I would compare it about the same height as a uh, Ubiquiti AC Pro ceiling point. And you can see how it mounts right in there. It does have a 2.5 gigabit port, which is great for uh, the new 2.5 gigabit switches that are coming out. And then it has an, an output port, which I found intriguing because uh, if you're doing a ceiling access point, you probably aren't going to have an additional device after this. This does require an Eero router. So anyway, not much more to it. I kind of talked through the unboxing and hope you liked it. Thanks a lot.